Hello, my name's Chris Millard, and I'm here to give you the first ever Barmy Army Sport Nation Bulletin. Over the course of the video, I'll be catching up with World Cup winning England women's player, Anya Shrubsoll, and I'll be chatting to Stuart Tilly from the Barmy Army's new sponsor, Sport Nation. Well, she was the undoubted star back in July when she took five for 11 in the Women's World Cup final against India. So I've been down to catch up with Anya to see how life might have changed for her over the past few weeks. I've also presented her with a Barmy Army Women's Player of the Year award. So the Women's Player of the Year is Anya Shrubsoll. Congratulations. Thank you very much. There's your award, very nice. Thank you. So the obvious question, being a World Cup hero, is can you talk us through that over that day? Um, I think it was just an amazing day. Um, to be part of a World Cup final any time is amazing, but for it to be in the home country at a sold out doors and to win in you know, quite dramatic fashion, I think it was, well, I know it was the best day of my career so far. Amazing. And so, since then, has your life changed at all? Obviously, a World Cup winner, such a special over. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a little bit different. There's a lot of media attention and things like that after the final, and I've been getting recognised a few times out on the streets, and it's very bizarre. So, it has changed a bit, but. So as performances in an England shirt go, uh, there's some standout performances over the last 10 years. For me, I would say Stuart Broad 8 16 is one of those. I reckon yours is probably up there now. Would you agree with that or are you going to be too modest to agree with it? <laughs> uh, probably a bit too modest, but I, I'd like to think it was, a, it was a pretty decent performance in, um, in an England shirt, especially given the, um, the magnitude of the game in the World Cup final, I think. Um, it's not many things that be quite as dramatic as Stuart's 8 for 16. Um, I remember watching that. Um, I like things, especially in terms of ODI performances. It's, it's up there as a particularly useful one for the Absolutely. And so, the stadium sold out Lords for a World Cup final. Um, the atmosphere, what do you think to it all? Was it a great, great occasion, great spectacle? Yeah, it was amazing. Um, the noise the crowd made was, was completely unbelievable to me. I've never played something in front of them. Um, they made that noise the whole way through the game, and it was it was pretty deafening at times. So the person was sitting next to me, so um, yeah, it was certainly an amazing game to be a part of, and one that hopefully we'll be able to recreate it, um, especially here in England. We're so um, so the Barmy Army in women's cricket, as far as we go, Big G, the name that we mentioned earlier on, you said, oh, Big G, yeah, no, great, and that's followed you all over. That's one of the first supporters of women's cricket. Um, do you see a bigger Barmy Army future start with Big G? Well, yeah, we'd love to. Um, I still remember Big G over in Perth in um, Jerusalem at the start of every day um, during the test match at um, Belt with Matt. So um, we always want to be well supported. We know how amazing the Army Army are, um, especially watching the men. So if we could get a few more coming and watching us, that would be amazing. And I think Big G a bit of a handsome in Jerusalem at the start of the game. Absolutely. And the Ashes is just before the men's out in Australia. So obviously, if we're there, if we get on the flight a bit earlier, I think we've got your chances in Australia. Yeah, without a doubt, we've obviously got a lot of confidence coming up from this World Cup. Um, they want to prove in Australia are always really hard to beat over there. So um, I think it'll be a brilliant series and um, we'll just try and come up with a good touch that. And for the men, are you comfortable as well? Yeah, I think so. Um, but they've obviously had a really good series win against South Africa, get a bit more momentum against the West Indies. Um, got some world class players in there, as, as Australia do as well. So I think it's up to be a really interesting series. Thank you very much, Anya. Thank you. And good luck. I'm here to tell you all about an exciting new partnership we've got for you. I'm here with Stuart Tilly, CEO of Sport Nation. So, Stuart, first question Who the hell is Sport Nation? So, SportNation.bet is the UK's brightest and newest bookmaker. We've got hundreds of in play and pre match prices on a daily basis. We've got the very best in slots and casino games, including our jaw dropping live dealers. We've got opportunities to win money, can't buy rewards and prizes every day. Get behind the scenes footage straight from the London studio of all your sports gossip and inside information. Sounds excellent, Stuart, but what specifically are you going to do for the Barmy Army and its members? So we're looking to offer Barmy Army members and fans of cricket more generally um, the opportunities to get their hands on content, experiences and rewards that you will not find anywhere else online. So we'll be uh, following England uh, specifically. We've got a fantastic price boost for the Ashes, offering five to one England to retain the Ashes um, in Australia later this year. Uh, we'll also be taking a lot of behind the scenes footage of um, a lot of the players, the bar and the army as we follow them around the world on tour. So Stuart, there's a big winter of cricket coming up. Are you going to be running a competition for our guys? 
you certainly will, Chris. You certainly will. So we've got uh, an exclusive uh, opportunity for one lucky Barmy Army member to win a trip to Sri Lanka for England's tour out there um, next year. Um, we're offering two tickets, flights and accommodation. And uh, if you want to find out more information, then check out the site, sportnation.bet, for more details. I think the plan is to draw that at the end of the Ashes Test match at the SCG, so that would be an amazing spectacle. So there you have it, the Barmy Army's official betting partner, sportnation.bet.